Hello everyone, I'm Giancarlo Guerrero, Music Director of the National Symphony, and I want to invite all of you to our concerts this coming January 26th to the 28th, where the orchestra will be playing the Chopin's First Piano Concerto and Bruckner's Monumental Second Symphony. Many of you know by now that I am a huge fan of the music of the Viennese composer Anton Bruckner. And one of the reasons that Bruckner is so attractive to me is because of the sonority. Bruckner, in his day job, was an organist. And everything that he wrote for the symphonic stage has that organ-like sound. And it is basically being composed having a church sound in mind. And ever since I came to Nashville and I heard the incredible acoustics of the Skemmerhorn Symphony Center, the first thing that came to mind was that this is the perfect venue to enjoy and to experience the music of Anton Bruckner. This is the music of a very mature artist at the height almost of his powers. He used to compose another seven symphonies later on. You see there's a lot of expansion in his music. And this is music that you need the proper venue to be able to appreciate. And going back to what I said, this is music that is full of beautiful sonorities. And when you hear it, you can almost see Bruckner himself sitting at the organ, choosing which sounds to showcase, whether it's in the strings or the wind. Particularly, he had a special interest in the brass instrument. And I can tell you that brass players always love playing the music of Bruckner because it requires so much depth and so much big sound that it gets to showcase the beautiful sonorities that brass instruments can produce. And remember that without Bruckner, we would not have Gustav Mahler. It was Gustav Mahler who admired Bruckner to a great degree and was inspired by this sonority. And in many ways, along with Bruckner, Wagner, and Gustav Mahler, they were the ones that established the sonorities, rich romantic sonorities of the German music of the latter part of the 19th century.